Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to create search view. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to disable, create, edit, export, import, export, XLS, duplicate, and the delete option in the list view. Please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 1718 development tutorial. Right now, we are working on this playlist. If you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available. Alright, guys, if you didn't subscribe this channel, please subscribe, it will help me a lot. Plus, you will also get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions. So, let's say here how we can create a search view. By the way, if I'm going to the search view, right here, I'm searching, let's say, web lunch by default. I didn't apply any filters here, but by default, Odoo provides a one filter by default, which is the display field. If you click here with the respective search, automatically you can see filters only those records which having a web launch, right? So you can also apply here, plus you can also add here multiple filters. You can also apply group by options from here. Let's say if I want to group by always school, right? Then every time I have to go to in the custom group and select the specific the field. But let's say as a end user, they they have like specific group by option here, right? So it would be very easy. If you see here, once I refresh the screen, so all the custom filters searched by user automatically gone, right? But let's say you want to add permanently here that you have to create a custom search view. So how we can create that one, right? We will see in this discussion. So first thing is I'm going to show you. I'm going to custom add-ons, students, uh, not in the static, but in the view, in the student profile. Here, I have to use the record id and the model then after let's say name three times like this this is the standard view structure whatsoever view you are trying to create this is the standard one okay and the model name should be the always same ir ui view after here we can use here wb dot student search view the name field we have to use the model field we have to use and arc field we have to use and the type should be the xml okay here i'm using wb dot student dot search dot view the model name would be the wb dot student right after the here i have to use search so this is the standard view Okay, here inside the search, we must have to apply add, I mean add a uh, new filters. Okay, so let's see one by one. So first one is the field tag, right? The name after let's say another tag, the field. First one is the name and another is the school underscore ID. Okay, and also let me see here the gender if it is applied. Okay, it's not available here. Let's say gender, right? You can see G E and D E R. Right now, we have to use like this. Now, let's see the effect in the search field. So, first thing is, I'm trying to upgrade this module. If you don't know how to configure or do in PyCharm, please check edit and level playlist. I already explained everything. So let me go to student and refresh the screen. You cannot see here. Okay. By the way, here, let's say I'm trying to filter S, right? So you can see here the name field is available here and select school field is also available here. So once I'm using web, you can see the related options is also available, right? 
if I'm using S only, so S related keyword, it will automatically search and it will display here like this way. Another thing is student. So you can see no result in the school profile because this is the mini to one field and this is the simple field. Okay, let's say student. So you can see the student, student, so related student name, it will filter in the student profile. And you can see here, it will execute like this way. Okay, another thing is uh, you want to apply the filter from the school, right? Then you can also use like this way. If you see the query, it will display like this way. So this query automatically managed by Odoo, not the user, all right? And another thing is, okay, now here, let's say if I will try to press M, so you can see here the male and the female, both will automatically visible. Let's say if I'm doing something like this, so filter is not available, so automatically it will remove from this filter, right? So let's say I'm using here W, so the W itself is not available in the gender field, right? So female available, so that's why you can see like this and it will only display those genders who have a female gender. Male, like this way, right? Now let's say we can apply the same filter here, okay? How we can do it? using the filter attribute let's a filter name the domain we have to use and the string as attribute we have to use so here the first name is now not we, we don't need to use this field name here you can also add the field name, but make sure. So this field name won't be repeat in this filter, right? So let's say student name, school name, gender filter, okay? In the domain, uh, if you already know about the search view, right? And over there we are applying the domain. So the same domain we can also apply here. Let's say name, I like sunny so this is string and this string represent in the filter itself filter name okay in the front end side sunny student here the domain we have to also use school underscore id dot name I like and sunny school sunny okay and the final one this one we can use here gender equal to male male students female students so let me check the selection field so male female and the one let's not include this one right and let's say male filter filter oh sorry not the filter female okay like this now let's see here and now I'm trying to upgrade the module. Refresh the screen and now you can see here, right? It's a blank. And now you can see here, sunny student, school sunny, male student and female student. Guys, remember, now, if I'm trying to use here sunny, right? In the school or in the student, I'm getting this result, right? So same result instead, I don't want to type here, but you can also add here see so once you click this filter that means it search in the school not in the student and this filter search in the student profile right let's say how many male how many female right 
so you can see the male and female uh, let's say here here okay this is female let me go to here in the form view and let me delete this option because if you apply here these options right like this so that means it will disable the major functionality let me also add here let's say gender oh, sorry is not set okay so let's say gender okay now let's see here the mail also working fine see two records in the mail and uh, let's say nine records in the female right now this is all about the filters here what about the group by options here right this gender i have manually selected from here so once i will refresh the screen so it won't be available here so for that we have to use one more way which is group okay under the group you have to apply the same one so same filter uh, let's say the group one here major change is this one the context okay inside the group that means would automatically understand okay this is the group by option now here this group bar uh, group tab inside you have to apply the filter okay uh, let's say the gender group by this context we have to use here group underscore by and we have to use that specific field name here i don't want to apply the domain okay i'm using here gender and same for school right and now i'm trying to upgrade the module now once i click here boom you can see gender and the school if i click to gender you can see one and female is available here right school so you can see why it's not available in the mail right because whenever we are trying to update the module automatically this data right this data automatically load and it will override our existing fields so for that let me add here filter name gender and let's sorry male okay now uh, let me refresh the screen see male is available now this is the gender and this is the school right group by option if you apply this two right so first one is the main group by and inside the record inside this one again it will group by the school right so you can see here Plus, you can also apply the filters, right? So, yeah, and another and the last one. Let's say this is the messy, right? Now, let's say you want to separate these filters, then how you can do it? So, for example, you can do it like this way separator okay so this separator 
separates these two field this separator separates with these two three fields now you can see here right see this two one is here and one is here right so like this way you can create your custom search view if you still have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how to add filters in the left side of the list view all right so see you there